All right, in this video, we're going to talk about your customer message list. So that is up here under lists, down under customer vendor profiles, and you have your customer message list right here. All right, now these are messages that you can put on the bottom of your transactions. So if I go up to customers and create invoices, down here you have your customer message box. It is a drop down, so if I have A, all work is completed. Okay, so it'll autofill for you. Uh, let's see some of the other ones. So if I say please, let's click off of it and delete. Please, so it autofills it in. Uh, and then you can also always put, push the drop down and choose the message that you want. Okay, and again, that's a preference. If you want the drop downs to auto fill in, it's a preference. Go ahead and watch that preference video. So clear. I'm going to go ahead and create a new customer message. All right. Thank you so much for, for buying from us. All right. It will do spell check. You can check your spelling. Click on this. Okay, spell check is complete. All righty. Okay. So now that customer message will be an option on the bottom of the page down there, on the bottom of the invoice. Okay, so let's say you decide, I'm not going to use this one. I want to go ahead and delete it, or I can make it inactive. Okay, so deleting it, if it hasn't been used, make it inactive. It has. So go ahead and delete it. This one has been used before, so I'm going to make it inactive. That way it comes off of my drop-down list on the actual transaction. So now if I go into my create invoices, you can see here that please sign and return within two weeks. Not here anymore. But thank you so much from buy, for buying from us is here. Okay. So that is how you set up your customer message lists.